Hi guys, welcome back to Lennox Bennett channel as we look at solving different types of equations. So the first one is x minus 3 is equal to 4 and of course we just take the inverse. So all we have to do is take the opposite of what's happening. Alright, so the opposite of minus 3 would be plus 3. So we add 3 to both sides. Alright, this would give us 0. So therefore, x is equal to 4 plus 3, which is 7. Let's look at another. So this one involves more than one step. So we have 2x plus 1 is equal to 11. And again, we take the inverse of the plus 1. In this case, the inverse of plus 1 would be to minus 1. So minus 1 from both sides. This would give us now 2x is equal to 11 minus 1, which is 10. And the final step is to take the opposite of times, which is to divide by 2. So therefore, x is equal to 5. And that would be our answer. Let's look at another. This one involves a bracket. So the bracket means to multiply. So let's multiply. So it will be 3 times x, which is 3x, three, 3 times 2, which is 6, and that must equal to 12. So it's back to what we did, one that we looked previously look at. So we minus 6 from both sides. And now we are left with 3x. 12 take away 6, that will give us 6. And the final step is to divide both sides by 3 since we are multiplying. Alright, so therefore x is equal to 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So the value of x is 2. Let's look at another. Alright, so this one says 4x plus 2 is equal to 2x minus 3. This one is different. So what we have to do, we have to group all the x terms and group the numbers. So what we do, we're going to take the opposite of this right here, which is minus 2x, because we want to get it to the 4x, but we must take the opposite. So this now becomes minus 2x. We already have the negative 3 over here, so let's take the opposite of this plus 2, which is to minus 2. And let's simplify because we have all the like terms together. 4 take away 2, that will leave 2. Both of them are negative, so what we can do, add them and keep a negative sign. But we are not finished, we can divide by 2 since this is times. So we divide both sides by 2. So therefore, x is equal to negative 2 and a half. Or if you like that, decimal 2.5. Five. Let's look at another. All right, guys. So we have x plus three divided by two plus x plus one over three is equal to ten. So the first thing we want to do, we want to put this. So it, all of them is basically a fraction. We we'll find our LCM of these three numbers: the two and the three and this, the one, which would be six. So we multiply both or all of them by six including this one that's a very common error students make they don't multiply that by six let's expand the bracket now two into two one two into six three three into this one three into six two so we now have three times x which is three x three times three nine two times x two x two times one two and of course ten times six which is sixty we group the like terms so it will be three x plus two x plus 9 plus 2 is equal to 60. Let's tidy up. This will give us 5x, 9 and 2, that's 11, and that's equal to 60. And to solve, we minus 11 from both sides. So this now is 60 minus 11, which is equal to 49. So it will be 5x over 49, which gives us 9, 5, 45, and 4 over 5. So x is equal to 9 and 4, 5. I can't follow for more. Let's spend it tomorrow. I'll see you guys in another video.